Hi guys, it's me Robin and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a special guest. Aww. This is my cat Cassie. And she wants a cuddle, so I'm just going to leave her here for the video. Yeah. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to grow your Instagram followers using algorithm hacks. Now these are ways that will definitely, definitely work and will grow your Instagram in an organic way. Now these tips will help you to grow 100% organically, which means that basically all of your followers are genuine and will actually like your photos and engage with all of your posts. With no follow for follow and no like for like, which you definitely should not do as people will just unfollow and unlike once they know that you're following them. Same with YouTube, sub for sub. Let's get straight with this video. So the first tip is to engage with your own post because the Instagram algorithm cannot actually tell the difference between the engagement from you and the engagement from your followers. So if you like your own post, Instagram sees that as a like from someone else. And if you comment on your own post, maybe put some hashtags as a comment. If you share it on your story saying, go look at my new post or something, then that counts as a share as if it was from another person. Now, it's also important to share it to your friends, ones that you know you can just send it to and they won't mind. Because again, Instagram will think this is other people sharing it to their friends and therefore they will boost it. You can also bookmark your own post um, in the bottom right hand corner there's like a little bookmark symbol and you can save that so that you can come back to it later and again that is something that Instagram looks for in posts. Cassie's going. Now the second tip is to use a call of action. So this could be something like comment down below, comment your favourite food, say you're drinking a smoothie, right? Comment your favourite flavour of smoothie or eating an ice cream, what's your favourite flavour of ice cream? Anything, it could be what's your favourite dog. Absolutely anything to engage your followers in the comments so they will comment their favourite of whatever you're doing or whatever you ask. Now, if you do this on every single one of your posts, it means that all of your posts will get more comments and therefore they will have more engagement and Instagram will see that as a great thing and promote it. Now, you can also start conversations in your comments section so one comment can turn into 10. So if you say, what's your favorite ice cream flavor in your post and then they say, oh, mine's cookie dough, what's yours? Then you go, oh, mine's vanilla, although I really, really, really do also like cookie dough. And then it kind of starts a little conversation, you get to know more about each other. And also another thing you can do is when you share it on your story, if you write, go comment down below, or go comment your favorite ice cream flavor, or if you say, go comment a rainbow emoji so that I know you're active on my story and my Instagram, I don't know anything. Number three is use Instagram story hashtags. So every single hashtag has an Instagram story. So I'm sure you all know what Instagram story is. It's like as your profile picture, if you click on it, then you get to see their story. It's kind of like a mini feed thing, but it disappears after 24 hours. That was a rubbish explanation, I'm sorry. But people can watch that story under the hashtag. So what you need to make sure you're doing is in every single story you do that's anything to do with YouTube, Instagram, anything, then you need to put tags. So say on your Instagram story, you've got a photo of your cat or you and your cat, <laughs> then you need to hashtag it pets of Instagram or Bengal cat, if your cat's a Bengal, I don't know. <laughs> Me and my cat, really bad examples, I'm sorry about that. And you can do up to 10 hashtags on each Instagram story, which means that your story will then be sent to 10 different hashtags. I'm pretty sure it's 10. It used to be 15, I think, but I think it might be 10 now. And this means that there is more engagement because every single person who visits that hashtag is going to watch the story and then they'll see yours on there, maybe click on your profile picture and give you a follow. More engagement means that it's boosted for more people to see your content, which also then leads to more followers. And another thing you can do on your story is use question features and polls to engage all your followers. If you say, what's your favourite ice cream flavour as a question and then they can write their answer, that's engaging them with all of your content, which boosts you higher so that more people can view your post. Another thing you can do is, if you don't want the hashtags to completely block up the whole of your post, then I will insert a story that I did where I actually completely hid all of the hashtags just because I didn't really like how they looked on there. So basically what you do is just select 
the hashtag, change it to the colour of the background, make it really, really tiny so that no one can see, it, and then that is done. And no one can see the hashtag, but it still goes onto the story page, so that's great. Number four is probably actually the most effective one you can do, and I do this a lot myself because it is great. This is the hashtag method, so this might sound a bit confusing, but I'm going to try and explain it as well as I can. So, say you posted a story and you used a hashtag, and say that hashtag was small YouTuber because because maybe you are a small YouTuber, I am. <laughs> and then you go to that hashtag that you used, so you would type in small YouTuber, click on the tag section on Instagram, and then it will take you to the hashtag which is small YouTuber, and then what you need to make sure you do is go to the recent section, so it's recently uploaded, to make sure that you don't have all of the really, really popular people with loads and loads of followers. Now, if you click on the recent one, then you're a lot more likely to find profiles that have a smaller following, as they would have just recently uploaded, and they would still be active at the time you're doing it. Now, what you need to do is find a photo you like, click on it, and go to their profile, comment on five of their photos, like five of their photos, and then refresh and do it again on another account. But what this does is it's human curiosity to click on an account who's gone and liked five of your posts and commented on all five. So they will then visit your profile, maybe like some of yours, give you a follow, maybe even DM you to say thank yous. So then that will get your engagement up and therefore boost your own post and account. Now, if you do this on hashtags that you also post, so say you're doing it to people who have a similar interest to you, then they are a lot more likely to come and look at your content as well if they know that you post the same kind of things as them. So they will also have an interest in your account and want to see what it's about. Now the fifth and final hack is actually a bit controversial. Some people might think this isn't right, but longer captions. Now, if you're reading a post with a really lengthy caption, then you've got so much more engagement. Fair enough, some people might scroll and be like, no, that is too long, I'm not gonna read that. But the people who do read it, it keeps them on your post for longer. And it brings out their emotions. Say it's an emotional post or a rant or something, then they're more likely to like and comment their own opinion. Whereas if you just posted five emojis as a caption, why would people comment? Then they're only gonna comment about the photo rather than the photo and the caption, which is what you want, because then it's like, posting two photos in one. Right, so I'm not telling you to write a novel or anything. You don't want you writing a paragraph that's going to take them 10 minutes to read, but something a bit lengthier that's going to keep them on your post for longer is definitely the way to go. And also, definitely, if it is something that is more thought-provoking, then people are going to sit there and think, oh wow, I, li I like that, <laughs> and then like it, comment their opinion, and maybe even give you a follow. So that is all of my tips for five ways to increase your Instagram following using algorithm hacks. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe and press the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. See you on my next video. Bye.